Good morning, friends. Today is Wednesday morning, April 22nd. I hope you're doing really well today. We miss you and we love that you're coming to watch us today learn. Today, we're gonna look in our packets that we got from IPS on page 56. I'm gonna share the story with you on my screen and we're gonna read it together. I'm gonna read you the questions and I want you to answer them at home. Remember, when we are reading a story and we don't remember what we learned, for what we read, we can always go back up and try to find it in the pictures or the words. So please wait a second and you'll see my story in just a moment. Here we are. Let me scroll up to the top of the story. Today we're reading about Anna and the jungle. It's called The Tallest Girl in the Jungle. While I'm waiting to get to the top, I want you to think about who you know or what animals you know that might live in the jungle and see if you can see them in our story. The tallest girl in the jungle. Anna was the smallest girl in her class. Her friends teased her all the time. Anna, you are so short. We cannot see you over the grass. They laughed. The tall grass tickled the top of Anna's head. Anna frowned. She hated being teased for being small. She looked up at the sky and listened. Monkeys chattered. Birds tweeted. She wanted to join them. She wanted to be as tall as the towering trees. Anna had an idea. Wait until you see how tall I can be, she called to her friends. <clears throat> Anna stepped into the trees. She saw a long, thick, hanging vine. She reached for it. What are you doing? Her friends asked. I'm going to climb, she said. Anna grabbed the vine with her hands. She pulled herself up and she used her feet too. Wow, she's going to climb that tree, isn't she? Wow, look at her go! The kids shouted. Anna was fast. Soon, she was in the green leaves of the trees. Monkeys munched on coconuts as she went by. She saw giant fruits, large nuts, and colorful tree frogs. Look how high she is, cried the kids. I will climb even higher, called Anna. Wonder why she's climbing so high. Do you think she wants to be tall? Anna looked up to the treetops. Can I make it to... The canopy, she wondered. A canopy, that's a new word. Think about that word for a minute. She took a deep breath. Of course I can, she whispered. Anna climbed higher. She moved from branch to branch. Up and up she climbed. Soon, Anna saw a bird with so many colors that it looked like a rainbow. She was in the canopy. Anna waved and smiled. Her friends cheered. They could not tease her for being small now. She had done it. Anna was the tallest girl in the jungle. The end. So let me read you the questions after the story, okay? Question one, why are Anna's friends teasing her? Question two, why, where does this part of the story happen? Remember, where is the setting? Question three, how does Anna use the vine? Question four, why are Anna's friends excited? Question five, where will Anna go next? And then the last question, what happens at the beginning of the story? Friends, you can find that story and those questions starting on page 56 of your packet. The next part of our lesson is the bossy E. Yesterday, you learned that the bossy E is also a silent E, which is quiet. He doesn't talk when he's at the end of a word, but he uses some magic powers. So you might hear them being called bossy E, magic E or silent E. Those are all the same, the same E, but he has three different names. Today we're going to read a book called 
silent E. And we're gonna practice what we learned yesterday. So let's look over here. I'm gonna start at the start of my book because that's where we always start reading. The title is called Silent E. There's our title page. It has the word tub on the bathtub. And then the magic wand here with the E is behind the word tub. It's gonna make it into a new word. We're gonna see that word later. Okay, turn your ears on and let's listen. No one hears me coming because of silence. Yet they know when I am there. I change what words mean. I change how words sound. This is a picture of a man. And look at up above him, you can see. M -a -n, man. Silent E comes along and he turns that word into mane, which is a big long hairdo, kind of like a lion. Mane. Watch me work. I change cap into, say it, what is that? A cape, very good, a cape. Watch me work. I change pin into pine, very good. That's a pine tree, we see those outside. Watch me work. I change tub into tube, good job. Watch me work. I change can into cane. Watch me work. I change twin into twine. I change what words mean. I change how words sound. I am silent. E or bossy E or magic E. Boys and girls, thank you for listening to my stories today. Today, we got better at learning how the E at the end of a word changes our words, sound and changes the word meaning. We're gonna practice those skills in our homework today. And we're also gonna talk about them again tomorrow in our lesson. Can't wait to see you. Thank you. Bye-bye.